Welcome back. You remember the feeling, butterflies dancing in your stomach, waiting to ask that cute guy out, the raise you want and deserve, but aren't sure how to ask for it. Having to deliver bad news, never an easy conversation, but you can overcome all those jitters. Lou Diamond, professional speaker and podcaster, shows us how. First, Lou, you have the word professional in your title, so you automatically have a leg up on most of us when it comes to conversation. <laughs> That just means that people are paying me for most of the stuff that I do. But yes, that's, that's, the, that's the focus. Well, we're coming to you with uh, some great advice this morning. There are a lot of conversations that are hard to have. And I think the first one is that icebreaker conversation. You know, when you're trying to get to know somebody or having that first conversation, it can be a little tricky. You know, a lot of people are very focused on what you need to say before you have every conversation. But a lot of the things that I focus on are how you need to be. And the icebreaker is the perfect way to think about it. It's the first time you're meeting somebody. And just like you need to bring great ingredients into maybe a great cocktail or a great recipe, uh, the icebreaker, I have some ingredients which are basically three ounces of intentionality, two boosts of energy, one shot of gumption, a dash of nerve, <laughs> and most importantly, you garnish with a smile. This is really important when you first meet somebody, you have to try to bring yourself forward and be really intentional when you wanna go meet someone, raise the energy, and yeah, it takes a little bit of nerve to do that bring that to the table and know that those are the ingredients that you have and others are having too. So if you do that, it's gonna make the icebreaker, ice breaking conversation really smooth to just start your first conversation with someone. And you wanna have that smooth cocktail, don't you? And you want it to be smooth. We always do, it just <laughs> depends on the time of day, wherever you are. <laughs> uh, you know, then the, and the other conversation, I think, you know, that 800 pound gorilla, you know, it's that conversation you've been dreading. You don't wanna to have to have a very difficult conversation with someone. You have to broach a really tough topic. How how do we how do we do this how do we get through it think about every uncomfortable conversation you know you've had to have and there really feels like there is an 800 pound gorilla in the room and it's because there's so much tension being brought to the table well let's address that tension and the most important thing is what i love to say is it's the lump in your throat that feeling that you have you need a, a shot of that but you also do with deal with it come in with the deal with it way that you're gonna to have to deal with it right away. Address the problem in the room, bring it to, to, the, to the level of wherever it is. If there's a problem, address it and ask about it. Uh, the reason you do this is because by letting it sit and linger, it's only gonna swell and make everything else uncomfortable and you probably won't connect on the other parts of your conversation. You get the 800 uh, pound gorilla out of the room, discussed on the table, and then you can move forward with the important things and really know what matters in your conversation. Yeah, don't put it off, you know, don't delay. As you said, it's just gonna make the whole thing more comfortable. Just get it done, get it out of the way, move on, and then move on to, to more positive things. Uh, I think another conversation that people have a hard time with is money, anything about money. You know, you're trying to get a raise or, or whatever, you need to ask somebody for money, you know, that's always a, a hard conversation to have. I always like to think of the money conversation is really an understanding of value. That's usually why we have so much stress about it, uh, because we're putting a price or a value, whether it's how much my services are going to cost and you have to talk about what it would be to hire someone or like you say, if you're looking for a raise and you're trying to, to justify that you should get paid more. What's really important is to list out all of the value that you have first. Bring the value first that you have in every conversation you have. What are the great accomplishments you've achieved? Name some of the milestones that you've hit in the work that you've done for a raise, and then discuss the numbers. And like the 800 pound gorilla, bring up exactly what you feel that's worth at that particular point of time. But remember, the most important thing is putting forward that sense of worth first. Put the worth, the worth and the value that you have and the money will come behind it and will be a secondary conversation so you can continue to add more value every day in your job. You can do a little homework, you know, get those, this is why I'm worth what I am, you know? Yeah, so it, so it makes a lot of sense. I think in the, you know, with the pandemic, everybody's doing Zoom calls, Zoom meetings, and eh, let's face it, they're not great conversations. You're trying to keep people's attention. It's not the easiest thing. How do we go about doing this? The boom boom zoom room is what I call the cocktail that helps to address the virtual conversation. And let's make it clear, it's a great bridge for connection, the virtual conversation, because we can't be in the room together, but we have to penetrate through the camera, through the lens to the person we're trying to connect with. So to do that, we need a little bit more energy, a little boost of exactly who you are, some, some even standing up is a very good idea, maybe even moving around as opposed to just sitting in your chair, because you wanna try and drive forward the connection that you can achieve in person virtually it's really hard to do and of course to your point we've been doing it for so long and many hours we're out there try to take a break before one of your calls or schedule breaks in between 
uh, when we were in the office and we would go from meeting to meeting, we usually had to get up and leave one room and go to another. Take a break and a breath so you can appear fresh every time you go into your Zoom conversations at work. Yeah, I've been in those where you're on one Zoom to the next and it does. <laughs> take a break. That's, that's great yeah. advice. Well, Lou, this was a difficult conversation, but I'm glad we had it this morning. You, you handled it excellently, <laughs> Amanda. No issues whatsoever. And then thank you so much for having me on. Yeah, you bet. Take care. Well, coming up next on WTOL 11-year day, we're getting revved up for a ride and day-long festivities honoring